you know, things are getting really tough right now. Uh, most people are behind in culling. And that's something that always plagues us in a drought. We're a little slow to react because we're, we're hopeful. Um, we've already said that we may not have the ability to grow much forage before next spring. Well, if you look at the long range projections, some of those are saying that we'll have a dry spring. So we may be looking to next fall before we have a potential to grow any forages. If that's the case, everybody's out. And so you just have to face the cold hard facts that you, you have what you have. If you can purchase forages and bring them in, look at that as the cost that it's gonna be. Uh, so often we see people cull cattle, buy feed with that money, and then at the end of a drought, they're still out of cattle and they're out of money. Out of money. So the, the objective would be to sell as many cattle as you could early to where you have enough forage, whether it's old, dry, dead forage, you can supplement that. But react quick enough, cull deep enough that you can maintain that base at home. And then you might be able to supplement some forages along there and still survive. But at the end of a drought, you wanna have the money available to come back in. And if we fed up all of our profit or sales of our cattle, you can't come back in without going into debt. That's never a good idea. So there's some real strategies here in drought management that if you're already locked in to probably too many cows on your place, that makes it difficult. And so what we need to think about not only during this drought, but the recovery of it later. And we can talk about that some more as we go, but I think a change in philosophy has to occur within our industry. Right now we're in an extended period of dry conditions. They're predicting a 25 year downturn in rainfall. We're about in the middle of that. So if we have another 10 to 15 years of dry weather, it's gonna take a change in philosophy. And so we need to manage with a smaller cow herd and then plan for when we do get rain. Instead of always be caught in this destocking mentality. We always stock as heavy as we can and then destock.